Hey everybody, I'm back just coming with a uh, quick little video on the range action bar setup because someone asked if I had made one yet and I just wanted to kind of make this to show you guys that uh, I had kind of played around with it a little bit and it'll really change up a lot depending on where you're going but what I like to do is uh, down here all of these abilities don't require a type of weapon to have so this is pretty much the basic bar setup that you should go with you have piercing shot then your ricochet snipe fragmentation shot and then you have two thresholds rapid fire and bombardment and you put one two three and four that's what i like for my keybinds there those are the ones that you're going to be using the most and then i put my two thresholds down here on c and d or c and v and i can rest my thumb on either c or v next to my space bar I can just move between the two of those whenever I need to use a threshold, which isn't as often as I'm going to be using 1, 2, 3, and 4. So those I can get off a lot quicker. This one has a 3 second recharge, 10 second, 10 second, and 15 second. It's nice to kind of put things in the order in which they recharge. It's just a little tip right there. You kind of want to keep it to that. And then rapid fire and uh, bombardment. Rapid fire is a 20 second recharge. Bombardment has a 30 second and uh, so you have to remember that you need to have over 50 percent adrenaline to use those and there's also another threshold that I like to use which is the snapshot and uh, that's 20 seconds and I put that all the way over here just because I had a uh, keybind a little bit weird for something I was doing yesterday but basically I have that on number five so I can just move my index finger from my four key over to my five key so that I can use that whenever I need to and then this is where you get to customize it however you see fit basically you have five different slots that you have open and so you can stick your prayers on there if you want to stick your prayers on there or you can do something else which um, if you have a shield a good idea would be to put some shield abilities on there say you're using a uh, chaotic crossbow and an eagle eye kite shield or a Lysian spirit shield what you're going to want to do is First of all, anticipation, if you're bossing where you take a good bit of damage, anticipation is an awesome ability to use for 10 seconds. It'll reduce your damage by uh, 10%, and it only takes 24 seconds to recharge, so that's a pretty good thing. It'll even boost your adrenaline up a little bit, so you can use that to get close to your thresholds. And then another very awesome thing for using a shield, this is really useful if you're going to Nex, or I mean even Armadil or QBD, Immortality is basically an ultimate ability where if you get hit and you have this active if you would die from that hit you'll fall to the ground and you'll get revived full health and everything just with your adrenaline gone so it's a very useful thing if you're not sure exactly how to do a certain boss yet it might be useful to take a shield along with you so you can use that immortality ultimate ability but then other than that there's a bunch of other neat shield abilities and uh, ultimates, thresholds, and even basic abilities that you can play around with. Just come up with a nice setting that you want, and uh, it really comes up to where you're going, where you're going to be using this action bar setup, and then um, what your current levels are. For instance, if I was only like, say, 75 defense, and I was going to like a high level boss, maybe like, I don't know, Armadil or something like that maybe I wasn't even too high of a range so the kills are going to be a lot slower and overall be taking a lot of damage then it would be a really smart idea to take a shield with me however I'm 99 defense and 92 range which is pretty decent and so I can if I want I can take a dual wield crossbow and I'll take a lot more damage that way but I'll get a lot more damage out to my target faster so I'll get go through a lot faster kills Another thing is if you're soloing, you really want to use a shield. But then now, the other option we have is dual wielding or using just a regular bow. For instance, if you're using the Zarite bow, you can have this action bar set up, but then you can also include the incendiary shot, ultimate ability, or some other things. Um, let me see if there are any other two-handers. Alright, no. So there's incendiary shot, say if you had a Zarite bow, you could use that as your ultimate ability. And if you're dual wielding, you could use the uh, two times ability, which is unload. So you have a lot of customization options here, but overall, your basic setup is going to look somewhat like this. 
You can move things around the however is comfortable, but you really want these four basic abilities here. Snipe does take a little while to hurt your opponent, but um, it does cause a lot of damage, so I think that it's worth it. But overall, use those four, and you have three thresholds, and then you can just move things around as you want. If I was dual wielding chaotic crossbows, I can get my unload ability, and then um, something else, say I want my, um, whatchamacallit, I want my regenerate on there, and I want soul split, I want my ranged version of turmoil, whatever it's called, and then I want to put a piece of food on that key, then I have a full setup to go for that, and everything works out wonderful. So that's pretty much it for this video, you just have to remember that the action bars, um, it really comes down to wherever you're going, and then it also comes down to your skills and your setup. So it'll change around a lot depending on the player, but overall you have a little bit of a basic action bar setup here, and you can just customize it how you want. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, if it was informative, please give it a like. That'll let me know if I should make any more videos like these, or if you guys like the videos on like little tips and tricks in the EOC. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I have a PVM series starting tomorrow, which is Monday the 26th of November. And then I'll also be making other videos kind of similar to this and in that nature. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching and have a good day.